Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's AP. We're back with a different type of video today. We got some man eater uh, gameplay in the background. I kind of have this wild story from uh, when I was younger in high school with a few buddies. I'll just share it here, you know. Anyways, I was hanging out at my house around 9 and 10. My buddy uh, <clears throat> sent me a text. I was like, hey, you want to go smoke? And I was like, you know, sure, why not? So I gathered up my stuff and I met up with a. Uh, him and a couple other of my buddies, uh, but yeah, so, uh, we get talking, and we're like, you know, let's just head to the park, it's late at night, there's not gonna be anyone there, we just chill underneath the gazebos, play some hacky sack, listen to some music, and just hang out, you know, so, we start walking, we cross this big parking lot that's next to my house to get to the park, it takes us like five minutes, five, six minutes, you know, and then as soon as we get there, we walk down the path. It's kind of weird. So the park's kind of split up in three different areas. So we walk past the first area, which is kind of like where the dog park is and where everybody fishes. So we're walking past. We get to where uh, the play area is for, you know, the little kids and everything. We get there and there is nothing but tents set out and it's like Boy Scouts. And we all look at each other and like, oh man, well, this may be a bust. Then my, my one of our other buddies that are uh, with us, he's like, hey, what about the baseball diamonds on the other side? Which is on the other side of the park, not the side that we uh, already came back. There's so we, uh, we decided to head that way. It takes us another like five, seven minutes to get there, you know? It's not too bad, but. This feels long when it's cold and it's raining. <laughs> uh, so, after that, we get to there. We all sit down and we start thinking. We start taking our stuff out. And all of a sudden, we see two cop cars drive by. Like, oh, great. Might as well just pull out the haggy sack for now. Because at least then they can just tell us we can leave and, you know, no big deal. So, we play haggy sack for like 10, 15 minutes, you know, just wait. Then we decide that, you know, we're good to smoke. So we decide to, you know, get our stuff out. We all take, you know, it's about 20 minutes, half hour. We're there, you know, join our smoke sesh. Just, you know, rambling like we always do. You know, back then. So we finish up. Put our stuff away. Get ready to head out. And, you know, we, we decided to take the shortcut way, which is back through the park with all the, the Boy Scouts camping out. So we do that, kind of mob through as quietly as we can. And, you know, when we, uh, when we get out of there, my buddy's like, hey, could you, uh, you know, give us a bowl? I'm like, yeah, man, I can do that. So I hand it over to him. And uh, we start heading towards my house, just, you know, to split off, because they live, like, down the road from me. Or at the time they did. And we're, uh, we're hanging out, walking down the road. We get to the big parking lot. We get about halfway, and my buddy's like, oh, man, I dropped it. Can't find it. So we're all out there. It's about four or five of us with, a flash with our flashlights on our phone, looking like, you know, we're tweakers. And we're just, you know, down, down looking. All of a sudden, my buddy's like, oh, man, there's a cop rolling up. So I turn around. I see a cop car rolling up. No lights on at all. And, no light. and he gets out and he's like, is that you guys' this car over there? We look over and it's like, oh, no. No. That's not anything to do with us. I was like, oh, okay. Uh well, how old are you guys? And we uh, give them our ages and give them our names. It's like, oh man, this is gonna be great. I have all my all my stuff in my front pocket. I'm like, oh man. Worst part was he asked for my ID because I was over, I was older than everyone. So I was like, oh man. And all my stuff was on top of my wallet. So I was like, eh, don't slip out, don't slip out. Anyways, he spends about 10, 15 minutes just, you know, chatting with us. He's a pretty cool guy, you know, can't complain. 
then when everything comes back, he's like, all right, you guys are good to go. Um, it was after midnight, so he gave everybody else the warning to be like, you guys got a half hour to get where you guys need to be. He's good. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, I swear, we're walking back, and I see him looking down on the ground looking for what we were looking for or something. But he stayed in that parking lot for, like, another, like, 45 to an hour. I kind of watched him in a sense because I was just chilling in my front room that, like, looks over to it. I just saw him. I was like, oh, man. I wonder if he found it. I'm just... But, yeah, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys listening. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Like the video, comment. Definitely let me know if you guys ever had a situation like that. In a sense. Or, you know, some wild stories that you guys had. But, yeah. I'm AP. We'll catch you guys later.